The 31.3 km light railway network project has been built by the China Railway Construction Corporation and will have about 39 stations once complete. The 9.3 km rail transit operation was officially launched on Sunday by the Prime Minister. This railway transport has been readied for service. Above all, Technology has been transferred to Ethiopian professionals who have drawn extensive experience and knowledge in the process of working with Chinese professionals. That is really a great achievement. Ethiopian professionals also received intensive training in China. The $475 million railway project is about 85% complete and is designed for top speed trains of about 80 km per hour with low carbon emission. The current testing is to assess whether all systems of the railway, including traffic junctions and pedestrian crossings, are operational. Chinese expatriates train the contractors to ensure the railway meets international standards. I have been trained as a train master in Tianjin, China for 10 months. The training had both theory and practical components in different cities where CREC trains are assembled. It was so excellent. The light railway lines will be operational after three months of standard trial and are set to service almost 15,000 passengers per hour. Each train has the capacity to carry 286 passengers. It is good for us to gain some experience on this project and cooperating with other countries. During the progress of this project, we got a lot of attention from many African countries. Around 20 African countries sent their delegations to visit the site of the project to get more information about it. Many of them have showed their interest and willingness to have a similar project in their countries. I'm very grateful to the Almighty because I got a chance to see a railway service restarted at my age. It's really fantastic for the coming generation. It gives a special pride for us to see the railway service, which is a replica of the ones in developed countries. The Chinese Exim Bank covered 85% of the construction costs in line with a loan agreement with the Ethiopian government. Noel Makugu, CCTV.